Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we put together this sort of a e-commerce store selling computers with a fantastic Divi theme. And I've just been using a great plugin on a client's site that enables them to switch currencies depending on the IP address of whatever country's visiting their site great addition so I thought I'd just demo that for you today you can get this from a uh, code canyon right here in Vato Mar market I'll put the link down below once you've got it downloaded go to your plugins page hit add new I want to upload the plugin I'm just dragging and dropping it or you can choose file and browse the location of your file once you've got it there hit the install now button and we can go ahead and activate the plugin okay now we've got it activated we've got a little menu item here that's got multi-currency in it so we want to click on that to get to our dashboard Now, there's one thing you want to remember about this this particular um, plugin is I usually use a caching plugin for websites. This quite often will conflict with um, location geolocation, so you want to disable any caching plugins you've got or uninstall them completely unless you're totally dependent on them. Okay, so we're on the general tab here, and of course we want to enable it. If you want to set fixed prices in different currencies, you can use a fixed price. And you can use sessions instead of cookies if you want to. They've got a currency price switcher, which will display on your site if you've got it enabled. And you can let people choose whether they have a, a flag, a country code, a flag and a price. For the price but we're not going to use that we're actually going to do it automatically now our default currency we want to keep set to us dollars here so if for some reason it fails they'll get a price in dollars so once we've got it enabled let's move on to our location now here's the auto detect i think by default it's set to no you want to make sure it's set to order auto select currency geo api woocommerce and it'll detect the ip of the address whoever's visiting and show them the currency of their country currency by country if i turn this off this will only work when we've got auto select featured and i've got the countries here let's remove them all because i think when you first get it there's nothing in there so if you just put your cursor in there, you can either select specific countries. Well, I'm going to go ahead and hit the select all button and it puts them all in there for you. So that'll now change currency with all these different countries here, which is great. If we go to the checkout. We want to enable it on the checkout page as well so they can see it in their, their regular currency. And the checkout currency in itself, we're going to leave in US dollars. So we're in pretty good shape there. We go to our design. Now the currencies bar, I really don't need that because it's going to auto switch. But if you want to enable it, we'll have to add some currencies. And you can choose the position, left or right. It's over on the right at the moment. But to make it actually do anything other than our default currency, we need to go back to the general and add some more currencies here. So let's add a new one let's say British pound and perhaps euro and we'll save that back to our design tab now we've got more currencies and let's make this main color blue just because we've got blue going on in the site now let's save our changes
Now, if we go back to our site, I can't demonstrate this because I'm in the US and I haven't got a VPN server anywhere else to check it out. But when I refresh, we should have our currency switcher over here. And there it is. And you can switch from the United States dollar, pound sterling or euros, whatever price. Let's see if it actually works. As you can see, it's changed our prices to euros down here. Let's change it to pounds. And there we go. We've actually changed it to pounds. But you want to put in, when you're doing this, you need to put in, you need to put in a rate, an exchange fee. So at the moment it's just got them all set to one to one. Let's go and say USD to GB pound. We've got 0.82. So if we put 0.82 in there, GB pound exchange rate is 0.82. And you can add some if you want an exchange fee. If you want to do that, it's up to you. And let's get one for the euro. Shouldn't be a whole lot different than the pound, I wouldn't have thought. 0.91 looks like, yeah. Save our changes. Go back to the site and let's just try this again. Okay, we're in British pounds, so let's see that Dell office is 697. Let's change it to euros. It'll be slightly different. Yep, yeah, 773 euros. And in dollars. $850. So that's calculated that beautifully for us. Fantastic. So there's how to add different currencies to your site. I guess you could put a title on here for the title switcher. Um, let's go back to our dashboard. And it'll be in design and a title. That'll do. Save our changes. And let's refresh. There we go. Now we've got a currency switch title up there too. So there you go. That's how to add different currencies to your website. Really nice little feature there. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.